Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Cognizant on-campus drive. I should tell you that Cognizant has topped their off-campus drive for 2024-2025 batch. Now they have officially started the on-campus drive for 2026 batch. And very honestly, they are going to hire 10,000, almost 10,000 candidates in this year. So don't lose any opportunity you have. Okay. And let me tell you one important thing that is for all of you like for cluster one cluster two for cluster three for all of you there will be one common subject that is sql okay so you have to prepare very well to get a good package in cognizant and you have to prepare sql very well because there will be total four sql questions and you have to appear for all and you have to achieve at least three or four sql questions okay so let me just show you what type of questions they are asking in these days and what topics they are asking mostly okay so let me just discuss the topic that is at first join okay join is a must uh, like a, a mandatory concept you know by which you can implement most of the questions answers okay then the second topic is aggregate functions okay aggregate functions is the second topic which is very much important so these two is basically most asked and most important topic for cognizant sql questions okay so the question is as you can see in the screen uh, okay so i hope this is visible to you guys from the following tables write a sql query to find the salesperson and customer who reside in the same city return salesman customer name and the city okay i hope this is uh, not properly visible still i'm telling you this is city okay so this is the table having column salesman id name city commissions and these are the datas okay and this is the customer table and having these columns like customer id custom uh, customer name city grade and salesman id so as you can see salesman id is common in the both um both table so this can be our foreign key so what we have to do we have to return the salesman customer name and the city where the city of those persons are same okay they are residing in the same city so let me share the answers but before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of cognizant in which you will get all the recent questions with answers all the previous year questions all the technical questions for all cluster you will have the questions like as you can see the students are giving us the feedback like uh, as you can see i love this content of cognizant it has everything for my cluster as well as the cluster, uh, other cluster from communication round to interview round all the roles all the materials are available right so these this is the feedback uh, of our materials so please have these materials that just visit topmate.is.technology.uf so if students are uh, giving good feedbacks to us and you can have all the materials you need okay so i hope we will have these materials the link will be given in the description box please go through that thank you so let me just go to the answer part okay okay so here the uh, customer uh in case of salesman the salesman id and inside the customer table there is a salesman id this is a foreign key just remember that okay so let me just write the code uh, query here so that it will be easier to understand so basically let me just write uh, uh, select i hope this is visible select uh, what we have to find that is name of the salesman then customer name customer name and the city right so these three fields we have to fetch from those tables now from which tables we have to fetch from salesman and from customer okay so these are the two tables from where from which we are fetching the details so basically we are joining okay we are joining those tables and when should we join where the salesman id okay salesman salesman id is equal to equal to salesman id okay salesman id but one problem will be occurring just we have to refer this salesman as let's say s and this customer as c to make them uniquely identify so salesman is right so this is the name from the salesman table so s dot name we have to write and this is the customer name this is from the customer table so we have to write c and this is the city from which 
uh, yeah from both we can write so let me just write this from customer okay so customer dot city and this salesman is from salesman and this salesman id is from customer table okay so now let me just uh validate and submit the code and let me see if this is producing right output or not okay so as you can see the name is being shown here and the customer name and the city as you can see they are like james hogue this is the name in the salesman id uh salesman table and this is the customer name okay so they are residing both in new york city that's why it is the output and for as you can see nail knight also present in california and nail knight and uh, this guy like graham juicy nail knight and julian green they are residing in same city so this is why the output is this okay uh mac lion fabian johnson in paris okay they are uh like sharing the same city okay so i hope you want to write so this type of questions you will see in your exam so let me just share one uh question which was really asked so this this question was for the practice purpose i am giving you one really asked questions so the questions uh, look like this very easy but still this is being asked okay so there is a data given to you okay there is a given data like uh name and id okay so name and ids are given to you and you are asked oh uh print the name in this format print the name in this format uh just print all the last name okay all the last name last name and it should contain one uh, uh capitalize the first name uh, first letter capitalize that and capitalize the last letter okay then print only those i uh, those names where id is id is uh, like you have to validate the id there are several conditions like uh, first condition is id containing only three characters okay id containing only integers okay and id uh, id should be id should not greater than some value okay let's say mm, 300 so these oh, this way you have to write a query to print all the names in this format like capitalize the first letter and the last letter of the last name and you have to validate the id also where the name uh, id having three characters only is integer only and id value not greater than 300 okay so this is a quiz question for you guys please give the answer in the comment section i love uh, to see your answers okay and let me just show one more quiz question for you guys so the quiz question is this uh, let me show you one more quiz question for you guys so that is this orders in amount range from the following tables write a sql query to find those orders where the order amount exists between 500 and 2000 return order number purchase amount customer name city so uh, customer uh, so table is customer and these are the columns provided to you and this is the orders table and these are the columns provided to you so just utilize these columns uh, tables and give the proper solutions for this and if you are able to solve this type of problem then very honestly you are going to track the sql questions of cognizant okay so i hope this much of discussion is enough for today's session guys if you want me to upload more content of cognizant or any company that you want then please comment down and like this video share this content with your friends so that they will be uh, getting a job with you and i'll be motivated to make more content for you okay thank you